Well, it's described as a domestic comedy like no other and a show with very few rules and surreal character swapping. It's called Perplex. And this silly season, Sila will be testing the wits of some of our best comedic performers, Natalie Medlock and Sam Sneddon, as well as Billy T Award nominee Nick Sampson and comedian and actor Kura Forrester. Welcome, you two. Thank you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. I've got to say, mm, that spice has okay. been cooking. It's getting right on my throat right now. Yeah. Um, let's start I with you. I thought this place is on fire. Can you, can, you, can you feel it just right in the back of your throat? Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. All right, it's going to taste even better. Uh, Kura, let's start with you. You play uh, a character in this show called Kura. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about it. It must have been written for you. Yeah, sure. So it's a German play, and the guy that wrote it wrote four actors, but the concept is that it should always be cast with the names of the people in the cast, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm playing Kura. I'm very aware that I'm an actor in a show, and I also play lots of different characters throughout the entire Oh, because that'll be a breeze for you, could I? I've known you for quite some years. Well, yeah. <laughs> and she can be a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few multiple here we go. There's a few go. multiple go. personalities yeah. going on in there. Yeah. And Nick, you play Nick. Um, That's right. Okay, can Great you... Role. And I heard that there is uh, some nudity in the show as well. What? Yes. I yes, but yeah. I, it's, I can't say who it is. Oh, it's not you. <laughs> no, it's not so I thought it would have been good to see my neighbour naked. Yeah. <laughs> well, if have you, you want, not seen if... him naked already? No, not yet. No. A through? lot of sunbathing. I often put out the washing naked. So. Oh, I must look. Yeah. No, though, this is actually, actually it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, naked. yeah. <laughs> we've done that awkward sort of walk up and down the street and wave to each other, but yeah. we've never actually officially met. So, yeah. Did here you put we the are. Up? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> have you two ever... gone bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> have you two ever worked together before? No, no, I would remember. So does that make this play a bit more interesting for you both personally? Because it sounds very intriguing. I still can't get my head around it. Yeah, yeah we're still trying to get our heads around it. It's, um, but it's like a dream cast, all working on this project that we are sort of figuring out as we go along. So the premise that Ho you, Holly was just talking about, so you come home and there's another couple living in your house. Yeah. From holiday. That's yeah. how it starts, yeah. And then it slowly sort of gets weirder and weirder and weirder without you noticing, but we're just asking our audience to come along with us on this pretty yeah. crazy ride. So you don't have to be into the story to still enjoy it. You could probably take many things from it. Is that a good yeah? Thing to say? There isn't yeah. there isn't much of a story. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of I think we, we figured out it's kind of like twenty plays in one and one. So every five or ten minutes the play sort of switches and slowly without the actors realizing has become a different play and yeah. some of them are aware of it and some of them aren't and trying to keep up with it and then we're in a different reality and people are suddenly different characters but they're always playing themselves and so it, it, it just kind of devolves into this absolute shambles and by the end everything's like falling over and, and, and being destroyed. And it's really funny, which is what we should get across. Yeah, it's hilarious. A, it's very no, funny. No, yeah. okay. And people have said that, you know, that it is a very funny show. So I can't wait to go and see it. We've got more from these two in just a minute. Uh, we're especially keen to find out about the Paris Clowning School experience, oh, yeah. Kutter, that you did, and also what else Nick is up to. He has got his finger in so many pies. Oh, uh, now skilled. <laughs> yeah. You're skilled. No, you are. You're both very skilled, both very recognisable as well. So let's talk more about your careers, and we'll start with you, Kutter. Um, Paris Clown School, what was that about? Uh, so I went there two years ago, and it's a place called uh, Philippe Gollier is the, the master clown teacher. So people like um, Sasha Barrett Cohen went there and developed nice. Ali G. So it's about going there and um, finding your inner clown is the biggest sort of lesson that you learn. But he's quite a hard teacher too. So right. he has this drum and you get drummed off the stage if you're not funny enough. Oh, no, <laughs> it's pretty pressure. full on. But the yeah. clowns are getting a very bad rap at the moment. Do you still have that on your CV, clown? Yeah. Um, I don't really associate with those types of clowns. Those bad inner clowns? Clown. Yeah. I'm, I'm a very good clown, not a bad, naughty clown. Red nose hidden in your pocket. Yep. Um, Nick, you are not only a comedian and an actor, you also are head writer on John and Ben, you're a writer on Funny Girls, and you do bits and those as well, obviously. I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of stuff to do in this industry. Yeah. Do you have a, a preference to any one of them? Um, oh, it's all good. I like just like to work a lot, you know? <laughs> yeah. no, no time to sit and let the old brain... Take over, eh? So, uh, yeah, my, my, my favourite thing is probably doing, like, live performance, though. Yeah, and, like, the uh, stage, yeah. that's the cool I, mean, I reckon that's the, that's the best. You get the most, uh, like, at feedback, laughs and claps. Hopefully. Love claps. No yeah. pressure, but hopefully. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Yeah. Actually, and a round of applause for you, Kura, too, because I, I saw recently that movie you were in, Belief, yeah. um, the story of Janet Moses. Um, that was incredible. Was it hard all of a sudden, and I guess a good test of your skill, hard all of a sudden to flick into that serious mode? Yeah. Hard, but also I um, really checked in with the directors and the makers of that movie before we started and said, look, is it okay if we have some laughs on set? Not right. at the content, but right. just I was like, if, if we don't, we're just going to cry all the time. Mm. So I managed <laughs> to bring a lot of my own energy into that and then managed to switch but come out of it quite quickly too because it was quite full on. Well, that's like newsroom yeah. humour as well. Quite often newsrooms have very warped humour because they need it to deal with the stories that they're talking about Absolutely, all the time. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and also what we do in the shadows and everything. So much fun. So much fun and joy. And um, so just one quick question to end. Serious or comedy, what would be your go-to if you had to choose just one? No pressure. Comedy. Comedy, yeah. I reckon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Excellent. <laughs> and you'll see that on show very soon. I'll tell you what's going to be perfect for the silly season. Perplex is on right now at Auckland Live's Herald Theatre. And it'll run from the 10th of November until the 3rd of December.